Now to the closing of a beloved bakery in Livonia. After decades of ups and downs, Ari's Bakery is once again announcing plans to permanently close their business. Just 10 years ago, Minnie Marie's Bakers purchased Ari's after the company fell on hard financial times. Now it seems history may be repeating itself. Tonight's Seven Action News reporter Sarah Michaels takes us to the beloved store front on Farmington Road after speaking with an inside source about what could be next for the company. To the naked eye, these may just be shortbread cookies, but for people who have been going to Ari Bakery their entire lives, these treats represent so much more. These are different Danish, you know, apple, strawberry, cheese. Ken Mack grew up in Livonia and tells me his family has been going to Ari's Bakery for close to 50 years. Memory lane and tradition and history. Uh, my mom used to come here all the time and get us wheat bread and Danish and all those types of things. He, like dozens of others Thursday, made the trip out to the 113 year old bakery after hearing news that they're permanently closing and needing one last taste of their variety of delectable sweets. What did you get today? A lemon sheet cake for the guys. I got the uh, uniced and a no nut brownie. A bakery spokesperson tells us production is set to stop here in September and it's due to the sales of sweet goods declining and production costs growing. It'll be sad. They've been here a long time. It's hard to believe that there's you know, not a financial way to make this work. But before you get too upset, it turns out that all hope is not lost. While on site today, I spoke to a company who told me that they are interested in buying the bakery in the next month. I also learned from an inside source that an iconic Detroit sweet company has also voiced their interest in buying this bakery. Post just went out of business, right? And they came back, so maybe uh, Ari's could come back, right? It's certainly possible. Just 10 years ago, Minnie Marie Bakers purchased Aubrey's when they were on the brink of closing. So will history repeat itself? A buyer needs to step in this month to save the nostalgia packed bakery again, or it's lights out to this open sign and goodbye to these beloved treats. We'll be back for the next story. <laughs> the reopening in Livonia. I'm Sarah Michaels for seven action news. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Sarah. A lot of people have their fingers crossed Me too. Yes, indeed. All right.